President Trump launched his bid for a second term by painting a scary picture of America's future if he's not reelected. The president rallied with thousands of supporters in Orlando to officially start the campaign while he faced turmoil back in Washington. His 75-minute address last night brought up very familiar themes. He accused his critics of un-American conduct, that's a quote, lashed out at the press, and claimed that Democrats, quote, want to destroy our country. He also said destroy all of you, referring to his voters. Weijia Zhang has been traveling with the president, and she's in Miami. Weijia, what else did he have to say? Tony, he had a lot to say. He billed this rally as historic and the hottest ticket ever, but it was actually just a collection of his greatest hits. He revisited old rivalries, aired familiar grievances, and renewed those longstanding promises he has made since his campaign in 2016, because in many ways, it never ended. Tonight, I stand before you to officially launch my campaign for a second term as president of the United States. President Trump and his supporters agreed on an updated campaign slogan. Keep America great. If I lose, people are going to say, what a mistake that was. But we're not going to lose, so it's not going to matter. But he did not offer a new agenda to go with it. Instead, the president painted a dire picture of what will happen if he loses. Our radical Democrat opponents are driven by hatred, prejudice, and rage. Mr. Trump only mentioned two of those opponents by name, Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, though he focused on his former rival, Hillary Clinton. Crooked Hillary said, if I win, are you going to support me? Isn't it amazing that it worked the other way around, right? Isn't it amazing? And he stuck to the familiar talking points that he's relied on since his unlikely first run four years ago. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. Our immigration laws are a disgrace. Even though he's found those problems hard to solve in Washington. The swamp is fighting back so viciously. But to his loyal base who waited for days to get into the rally, the stump speech isn't the point. No matter what the polls say or what, you know, the news says, we love him and we got his back. Even though President Trump did not do a deep dive into the current Democratic field, the candidates certainly responded to him, including Bernie Sanders, who described watching the speech as, quote, an unpleasant experience. Anthony. Weijia, thank you.